and good morning. It's a rainy day out there. I know we're glad to see some rain and in the 60s, mm. not too bad. Wake up, everyone. Yeah, looking good. Don't look mm -hmm. good for the weekend, too. Roll Tide Row. We'll talk some football in just a moment. Good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all so much for getting up with us on this Tuesday morning edition of Cooper & Company Live. Ronnie Marks, Mayor of Athens, be with us later on this morning. Special guest this morning, beauty queen, Miss Riley. And here we'll talk with her in just a moment. Competing. There she is right there on the on deck circle. Wave a little bit there. Give me a little here. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> She's competing in the Miss Teen Alabama pageant. We'll talk with her just a little bit coming up later on the program. Plus, we're loaded with news, sports, and everything else. Frank's in there this morning after doing a great job, Frank. Thank you. Hey, you know, Frank, we got a shot of Rick Mole buck dancing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do. Don't we, Brad? If you can show that picture, Rick Mole buck dancing in front of a crowd <laughs> the other night, the other afternoon down at the... Uh, He's yeah. not going to like that. Tom's in here this morning, too. Tom, what's Good happening? Good morning. Mac converted yet? Oh, not really, but it's better than it used to be. Better than it used to be? Yeah. Hey, we're going to talk a little bit, too. There's an article in the News Courier this morning talking about home ownership in Limestone County is one of the greatest in the nation. Did you know that? Mm hmm And if you want to buy another house, give them a call. Good. But first, let me talk about hogs, tame tigers. Doggone it, I picked Auburn to beat Arkansas. and Well, that didn't work too good, but... Uh, Number 10, Arkansas, too much for number 15. Auburn, Auburn, I'll tell you a little more about the Auburn Florida game coming up. But the tide kept rolling. McCarran, I just don't know why you didn't run that ball in for a touchdown, man. You, three more steps and you're in the end zone. But old uh, DeAndre White came through. We'll talk some football in just a moment. Hey, you got something you want to call? You can call Tony, 230-4988. We're going to talk about the Fillers Convention. Glory and I were there, <laughs> as always, on Saturday morning, probably about the, when did I get my award? Covering it more times than anybody in history. Shot more video than anybody. We'll have plenty of video of that. Tony was there, too, getting the Quavy sisters the other night. I guess I said that correctly. Uh, we'll have some video of that, too. But anyway, thank y'all for getting up with us on this Tuesday morning. Yeah, y'all know we're digital now, so we got new things in work. So here's Gloria to tell you about the weather, because that's still same old stuff. <laughs> well, I could say same old stuff, but we're actually seeing some rain we haven't seen in quite some time. And it wasn't supposed to rain, but yes, we've got 80% chance of rain today. They should just say 100 since it's raining now. I don't understand why they don't. But 61, 62 degrees out there. 76 for your high. Just a frizzy hair day for some of us out there this morning. Yeah, 79, 79 for your high tomorrow. 54 for your low. Only a 20% chance of showers. The rest of the forecast looking like no rain in sight. Temperatures in the 70s. Nice fall temperatures with your lows in the 40s. 230-4988 gets Frank this morning. Uh, Tom, you was at the Fillers Convention. What did you think? Man, it was great. It had just great atmosphere, packed, yeah. good music, and good fellowship. Beautiful weather. After we went out to the yeah. Sheriff's Arena, too, and that was a... Uh, had that stew cook off out that way. Sheriff Blake, he was pleased with it. So, talk about that kind of later this week, too. But anyway, thank y'all for getting up with us. Let me get yeah. things cranking here. Let's see. I, first, I want to show y'all this photograph out of Decatur Daily over the weekend. This is by Allison Smith. Look at this photo. This big old dog here. Best friends, Kitty and Duke. Mm -hmm. A raccoon and that. What kind of dog is that? All That's I know is just like big. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's Would it be a lab or? Uh, I don't know, but that was just a, a hairless, <laughs> a great photograph uh, yeah. in the Decatur Daily this morning. So way to go there, Al. So I'd like to talk about a few things going on this morning. Let me see here what I'm going to go with next would be stuff. Hank Williams Strikes Back. Why on earth would Hank Williams Jr. want to go on The View today with? Oh. Uh, What's that ugly black girl's name? Uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg, yeah. <laughs> I, I knew I'd think of it. Uh, she dog ugly. I mean, just, you know, come on. And that old Joey Behar on there, too. Is she still on there? Yeah. Well, I don't know. The only one I like is the blonde. Because she's a Republican. <laughs> she's a Republican, too. She's a Republican, yeah. Yeah, it says here, Hank is about to have his say. He's already cut a new song, mm -hmm. Keep the Change, calling out Fox and Friend and ESPN after an interview last week that got him fired from Monday Night Football after 20 years. Even the Decatur Daily had a little thing this morning saying, dang, Hank, do you have to wear a University of Alabama T-shirt when you're doing stuff like that? <laughs> but anyway, he wrote, he wrote the top, topical third verse, Keep the Change, when he woke up Friday morning at 4 a.m., borrowed a guitar owned by George Jones and wrote the melody and was in the studio that afternoon. The song was done by 5.30. Goodness. But anyway, he's going to be, they did a survey, uh, if I can find it right, survey in USA Today this morning. Who should sing the Monday night football intro? Are they going to pick Faith Hill? 
Well, Bruce Springsteen got 15%. Mm -hmm. uh, Jay Z and Beyonce, 3%. Okay. Lady Gaga Lady was Gaga. not on here, Frank. By the wow. way, I mean, Frank, uh, Brad. Mojo's back on ZYP, by the way. Wow. I want y'all to know that. that. I heard I him on that. there yesterday. I was listening to some of my, you know. What do you listen to? Uh, Walk like Jagger, dance like Jagger. Uh, Who sings that? Uh, die, uh, Adele. 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 Uh, Lady Gaga. <laughs> uh, Katy Perry. Come on. I mean, I'm into all that stuff. <laughs> hey, yeah. Kenny Chesney, six percent. Snoop Dogg, five percent. Bon Jovi, seven percent. But the one with 53% of the votes. That's who? Hank Williams Jr. <laughs> keep the original. <laughs> yeah, Good. yeah, keep the original. That, that's what they're saying out here this morning. So. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they'll hire him back, though. All right, I got a couple things I've got to get out to you folks this morning because I know you're chomping at the bit. Jamie, what you going to tell us about football? <sighs> Can't wait. Bama should be before it's all said and done, number one in the nation coming up in mm -hmm. January. USA Today did a thing. There's only right now 13 unbeaten teams in America. Alabama, six opponents, 42 points allowed. But get this stat. Trent Richardson in six games, Corey, pay attention, <laughs> has rushed for 729 yards. The six opponents, 239 yards. Oh, wow. So it goes on to LSU. They've trailed for six minutes and 33 seconds all season and have made only three turnovers. So we ain't had many no, more turnovers than that, have November 5th. Yeah, that's going to be a Good killer. Mm -hmm. A killer. <laughs> Brad talking in our ear. Auburn's speaking, of, uh, speaking of that, the Decatur Daily had a thing out Saturday. This is something Donnie Shut Up Huddleston has been talking to us about. Mm -hmm. The possibility of a rematch of, the, of uh, Alabama and LSU, nice. and it goes like this. Should, Alab say Alabama wins by only a touchdown and it's decided in the final moments. Well, when the BCS rankings come out after that, the possibility exists. If Oklahoma were to lose or Oklahoma State were to get beat, there, the BCS rankings could be so strong that a rematch would be in play. Oh. So Johnny Shut Up Huddleston had that first. Might be right. Mm -hmm. I did see a mock BCS poll yesterday that comes out Sunday. Bama one, LSU two, Oklahoma three, Oklahoma State four. Hmm. So, you know, I'm just trying to keep y'all up to date. All right, here's the weekend lineup, then I'll move on to something else. Uh, Michigan, Michigan State, Papa Rocco's favorite team, Michigan. <laughs> 11, that's at 11 o'clock ESPN. Uh, Oklahoma State at Texas. Texas is pitiful. 2.30 on 31. LSU at Tennessee is the 2.30 game on 19. Alabama Ole Miss, ESPN 2, 5 o'clock. Florida at Auburn, ESPN at 6 p.m. So, well, there were a lot of folks that could not find uh, ESPN U. Who was that texting me that I don't know where it was? Well, Pete Lamb was trying to get him. And now knowledge is on 69.3. Yeah, no, it's not on 21.22. Right. And uh, there's, I've ran into a lot of folks this weekend complaining about, complaining it. about not being able to see it. All right. Mm -hmm. A couple other little things here. Dr. Pepper is not for women to drink. What? Dudes don't drink diet. There's a new Dr. Pepper coming out. It's called Dr. P Dr. Pepper 10, a 10-calorie soft drink that they rolled out yesterday. Their slogan is, it ain't for women. It was developed after the country research found that men shy away from diet drinks that aren't perceived as manly enough. It's 10 uh, calories, and they think women aren't going to Dr. Drink it? Pepper made it 10 drink, <laughs> 180 degree different than the diet Dr. Pepper. So uh, Dr. Pepper 10 is not the first diet soda aimed at men, or Z Coke Zero, Pepsi Max. I can't. I've tried that Pepsi Max. <laughs> That's uh, reverse psychology they're doing. That's right. This is exactly yeah. what they're doing. Oh, last okay. year, they sold 10 billion cases of soft drinks in two, uh, last year. Hmm. Well, no, that was in 05. It dropped last year to 9.4 billion, thanks to Dr. Alan Coleman, the greatest dentist in the <laughs> world, saying, do not be drinking so, soft uh, drinks. All right. Brought to you by Pepsi. Huh? <laughs> Brought to you by Pepsi, which oh, we yeah. love. <laughs> yeah. If I drink Diet Pepsis all the time, and I love them. 
especially when you got a little chest. Yeah, they do. They, you know, they do good for something like that. <laughs> Y'all liking her new set? You can always text my loyal assistant six zero three forty eight forty eight. His number is two three zero one one two three. Yeah, well, I usually get all him. my texts during the Bama game at night. People want to keep me updated and what informed, and then by the time I, yeah. then I get tired of talking to them, so I just kind of. No, yeah, you, he never you don't, returns you don't answer. <laughs> yeah, because the yeah. well, phone will be ringing. I'll just uh, ignore them. Ignore them. I had several texts in to you. Yeah, I know. I got yeah, one of them, Tom said, are you there? <laughs> yeah. Are you there? <laughs> All right, after the Bama game, I went in and watched Auburn. No, I know I picked Auburn, but hoping they would get beaten in, which they did. <laughs> I woke up. I went to, I, I, last I remember, it was 28-14. I woke up. It was straight up midnight. It's because I left you asleep in the chair. Yeah, I know. Dear Jamie, <laughs> my wife and I have been married for over 20 years, recently separated due to our 18 year old son's anger management problem hmm. and my wife's sick parents. She moved out nine months ago to take care of them. Well, her parents have since died, and my son moved in with a friend. My wife's uh, brothers are trying to cut her out of the estate and throw my son in jail. He's got a felony on his record. Sounds like, hmm. Man, I can relate to kids like that. <laughs> now my wife wants me back, but I don't want her. I've moved on. I don't want the headache she and my son have brought me. Well. My attorneys have advised me to divorce. My wife said they should be disbarred. <laughs> what do you think, Jamie? I think run as fast as you can <laughs> away from them. Ignore them all. <laughs> Come on. Easy way out. Mm. Just go. Just leave. Well, I mean, my mother died. My dad, he ain't got much longer left. You uh, don't know that. I was with him yesterday. Uh, <laughs> he moved mighty slow. Uh, but uh, my son, I don't take his calls. I don't take any of them's calls. As a matter of fact, you do. I should run as fast as I can. Yes, you should. But because you're married to a living legend, I'm it ain't stupid. easy to do I that. Huh? I'm it's stupid. just like I John Dees was talking about in church Sunday. What, what Pride, you? arrogance, and conceit. <laughs> None of those have got anything to do with me. Uh, huh? Uh, Lightning is going to strike. Was, he was writing that sermon the other day here. <laughs> he probably was. He wasn't. He didn't show up last week. No, That's okay. probably the reason he wrote that. <laughs> hey, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. This. You know, y'all know when I talk about how good I am, I'm really serious. He's really full of it. But <laughs> the only reason she does stay with me because I got a big house. I would be in the house without you there, buddy. That's why I'm clearing out this room back here to put a cot in where me and Corey can sleep in here. Oh, all right. <laughs> that way Corey show up for work. Really? No, it ain't nothing like that. It's just I want to make sure he gets here on time. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, show that shot there. There's Corey right there and Frank way back in the back. We got a lot of stuff going on. I got now to do the Corey news has to pay attention because we're going right. to be showing Yeah, him. Corey, I didn't mean that that way. <laughs> I don't think I'm your type. Female, you know. Uh, we got to... Your girlfriend might get jealous. Uh, she's from Russell, by the way, Tom. Do you know that? Mm, no. Mm. Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember now. All right, I got to <laughs> take a break. Thank y'all for getting up with us here. You're watching Cooper Company Live on a Tuesday morning. Y'all hang on.